Oh. Okay, now. Okay. Okay, the exercise that we need to work still, okay? For the line drawings here. Because I want you guys to improve a lot on the drawing line and so because I've seen most of your result when you draw the our second exercise there, right? So it called contour line drawings, right? Contour line drawings. I'm going to write down later on, okay, when we actually work with those photo shots here. So if I want to draw this tree, all right, this tree. Okay. So what where how it's maybe to work here, okay? I'm going to try and place it upside down that it works. Okay, if I want to draw the three strokes there, okay. So this is how I can move my hands. Okay. Yeah, all right. How I can draw the line there, okay? I'm not going to draw the line like this, there, okay? What I have in my mind, or maybe from my reference that I have, in front of me there, right? This is basically how actually we work with the line itself. You see the quality of line that I try to apply from here. Okay. Not the outlines only, you know, guys. Okay. Not the outlines only. What I'm trying to do, I draw the all the three structures and shapes. Okay. Using basically my kind of understanding on the stroke itself, already. If you seem to have those tablets and you you will draw on top of the papers directly on on the on screen already on the pictures itself. So those are the things that advantage for you to move your hands, learn to develop your kind of understanding to draw the hands in the right way. Okay, but let's just say that some people like us, right, that doesn't have any privilege yet to draw using those tablet yet. This is the way of drawing that we need to apply right on our work study. We call it continuous line drawing. Right? All the shapes, all the line that I draw basically right here based on the structures that I saw. Okay, from the shadows line, okay, from those three there, for example, there, right? Okay, I'm going to show you guys which one back, okay? How I actually draw them back, right? And this is some of the graphs there, right? See the way I have my hands here? This is basically how actually we manage our line drawings. Okay, our line drawings here. You see that? How long, how long does it take to draw these line drawings? Only a few seconds or maybe one or two minutes only. If you actually practice your way of working with your drawing strokes in the right way, then Okay, so those are basically the how actually we develop our skills. So, <clears throat> when you go back to these pictures there, right? Okay, I have these pictures with me. Control C, open up new files. All right, these pictures require us to work with the portrait kind of formats. Portrait kind of format there, right? Okay. This is a landscape format. Landscapes, this is a portrait there, right? Okay. So the picture seems to be a little bit more bigger than the zoom out a little bit. Bigger than the 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 actual kind of canvas that we want to work okay, for our drawing. So I can actually write quick shift, scale a little bit. Smaller there. All right. Move into center there. Okay. Move into center there, right? Using move tools or arrow tools there. Selection tools, and then I need use the opacities. Go to gradient maps. All right. 
zoom in a little bit, add new layers on the layers folders there, right? okay? So if you take a look at this kind of line and text this here, if you use, if you seems to use uh, on your Photoshop hard round kind of brushes there, right? Hard round brushes, there, right? Hard round brushes, right? And I try to reduce a bit on the sizes there, and I'm going test my drawing line. Okay, this kind of drawing strokes that I really want to apply, right? And I will work there. Okay. So I have show drawing dots, uh, drawings, uh, houses there, cabin houses there, and also some motorbikes and human using the same techniques. What we don't want to produce when we draw this kind of line. This kind of line. This is the one that we want to avoid to produce. Or maybe this kind of line there. Look like the tree has like a fur there. Right? Huh? Uh, this is not the line that we want to produce. Okay? This is not the main objective there. So the main objective is when we draw the writing. Even though you change the size of brushes according to the shapes or to the tools that you want, flows are going to be 100%. This is where we move our hands. Mostly move there, right? Okay? Try to don't press too much. Feel basically the pressures and strokes. When you draw. Pressure is not tension flat. Pressure means that the, the volumes or the amount of what we call that press okay when you press on your tablet there right the amount of right power that you actually use to control to, to coordinate your hands all right with the tablet itself there. okay Right. So why actually do this kind of line there? So this kind of line will define basically the textures for the tree. All right. This week exercise is more like an analytical kind of drawing exercise there. We're drawing some suggestions line. Right. According to the strokes and textures and the movements of the flow from the textures of the tree. But some of the line were basically we improvise them, right? Okay, we improvise them. Okay, we improvise them back again. So if you use hot round kind of brushes, okay, hot round brushes. So the result basically are going to be a little bit more like okay. The difference between those lines. Okay, this one there, okay, too clean there, okay. So the tree has a lot of texts, so I'm going to draw a bit more of the line with this according to the shadows there. Right? And also the line that actually conduct here, there's a different kind of volumes there. Okay, we can see volumes, depths, right? Of fields that actually apply from these structures here. Right? We're not tracing them, okay? Remember that, okay? I didn't actually ask you guys to trace, but draw them back. The etching line from here. So it's all about <clears throat> develop your kind of understanding to move the flows here. See the way my hands here, they're right. That's how actually we do it. If you use hot round brushes there, because from this controlling, okay, some shadings areas, I can use uh, etching cross uh, 
move into a diagonal kind of etchings there, kind of strokes. To define the the different kind of values, right? Of shades from different angles there, right? Okay. Because if you take a look at this line over here, there, right? The light came over here, the source of light. <clears throat> so that means the shadows are going to be fall off. Shadows are going to be fall off over here, right? That's why I. I try to define some of the strokes, drawing strokes over here using the shadows shapes there, right? See? But I'm using, I'm not using this kind of strokes over here, right, to define the shadows, but I'm going to use a diagonal kind of line there, for example, like that, okay? Same goes to these areas, there's a shadows areas over here. You have to do, to develop this kind of visions understanding by observing where basically the part of light and shadows are huh? all oh, these areas there take a look at how actually i managed to work with it follow first and then try to apply on your own there okay because you want to develop creativities you have to draw first and then take a look at how people draw and then work on that the point is right now whatever that you want to draw is in front of you below the layers for Matthew, maybe it's quite hard to see because you cannot trace the drawing or you cannot put your drawings on the top of the layers there, right? Okay. Because you have to draw back again using those observations. But the best thing is you will try to develop your skill to controlling your hands when you draw, even though using ball pen, right? So let's just say I didn't actually look at the pictures there, right? Okay. I want to draw myself. Uh, my own kind of way of drawing the trees. Okay, this is what I actually going to draw. What I have in mind, right? What I have in mind right now, I try to draw back again, but not draw that tree. I draw based on my imagination. See, using the continuous line drawings that I actually draw just now, uh, based on my sketchbook here. So I'm going to develop my kind of understanding here. See draw them back. Okay. So basically the qualities are going to be the same here. Right, but I just improvise a little bit what I see using the computer time. This is the kind of called quality of drawing that we want to practice there, guys. Even though when you work with different kind of subject practice. See that? This is not my style of drawings only there. This is the universal kind of styles that apply for design students. I'm not bluffing to you guys there. You need to control or know how to conduct this kind of way of drawing. If you want to become a designer, right? especially designers who have the aesthetical kind of value, values of understanding how to develop their drawing skills, sketch skills, ideations, okay, when they want to visualize or present their kind of Visions, visual kind of visions to the clients you go on. Right? Okay, guys. Okay. That's all right. That's that's what the reason one of the reasons why you're here. Okay? So any questions so far? If you want to go into different kind of line drawings here, for example, like, like this continuous line drawing, right? so this is what I do. See? Continuous line drawing they just found it, right? But every single sheet of line that I created, right? I'm not actually draw the whole thing, but I draw some of the obvious kind of form or, or textures 
that I saw from the tree that makes me want to study them that, right? We talk about studying them, right? Eh? The basic structure there. Okay. Two different kind of drawings, but almost look almost the same. Yeah. And I add some shadows on that. All right. We draw the trees. The element of design that we call that. We're doing the line, the contour, line, drawing. Based from observation exercise. Observation means you learn to see in the right way, though, okay? Before this, when you draw the tree, right? This is how you look at it. Right? Especially those who actually doesn't have the right kind of understanding. If you seem to draw like this, don't come over here to learn it, right? Simple as that. No, I'm not trying to play jokes like that, but this is the reality of it. Right? Because if you try to draw like this, if you try to overcome or, or, or produce this kind of drawings, I would suggest please don't waste your time there. Drawings, okay, if you take a look at the video that I shared with you guys, the link of the video from YouTube there, okay? This kind of person also talked the same thing that I actually explained to you guys. There, right? Develop our drawing skills. They practice every day that I can develop this kind of skills. Everyone basically can draw. Don't worry, there. But you have to be patient to work with it. Okay? Sorry, the rest. This one. Basically, right? Number one. Okay. Any questions so far? No. No? All right. So that's what basically the things that we want to emphasize for this week. All right. On those 16 kind of pictures that I actually share with you guys, draw all those 16 there, okay? For another five week, uh, five days there too. Okay? But if it seems okay, they will take a little bit times. You will find a little bit kind of pain in your hand there, right? Okay, the hands are going to feel cramped a little bit there, right? Okay, but it's a good practice there. It's a good practice there. You cannot achieve the whole things in a short time, like okay, to develop your illustration skills. So those kind of drawings were basically. If you go into any kind of art college there, right? I, I actually repeating all these kind of things. Right. If you talk about this scribbling. Scribble. Drawings. Last patients. Okay. We basically try to develop One of the drawing skills there. Develop some one of the drawing styles there. That based from this contour line drawing there. Okay? This is one of the scribble sketch that made from uh, basically one of the Malaysian artists, right? The Chinese artists that actually have been developed also or using this kind of style as a part of his uh being slow there, okay? Way to presenting his artworks there, right? Okay? Scribbling kind of line there. So that main, um, this is the good chance for you to develop this kind of skills there, right? Okay. But of course, if you take a look at the drawing itself, there's a very tone, different kind of tone of value to show this kind of drawings look a bit not flat. There's a dimensional between those kind of lines. 
okay so we need to develop the skills here we're not going to do this kind of drawings here. you see this kind of drawings maybe it can be in part of the stuff that if you take a look closely right this is not the line drawing that we look into that we want to develop those competent line later on that you can draw like this okay <coughs> Those are basically our main objective here, right? Drawing the basic structures line. Things. Okay, this kind of drawings were made by a drawing pen. Uh, we call it like a writing pen. That, okay? They use a ball pen that it works. So we want to develop this kind of confidence. Okay, when you actually want to develop your illustrations kind of skill and styles here. Okay. So if you take a look at these pictures right here, the next pictures that I want to show that way. Don't bother with this kind of numbers there, right? Okay, focus on the form itself. Okay, let's just say I'm going to use my old brushes that I call all middle web pro, but I don't use this kind of brushes there, right? Huh? Brushes not suitable for that. It doesn't fit with our main objective to draw the line there, see. Find the right kind of brushes that to work. All right. One of the brushes that I actually can use. Okay, this is a bit more like a. If you look at it, right, okay, this is like a wash kind of transparent kind of brush there, right? But if I actually choose pen point for the line and strokes, you see the line over here. Uh, they're going to be a little bit different there, right? Even though there, we can actually double up the line there. So what you get to do right now, right? Okay? Your job is to study your analytical kind of studies on the line itself. There, right? See, draw the line here, one step at a time, and you move your hands, and then continue drawing the line at here, there, right? Okay? Using different kind of value of strokes. You see that? If you have to repeat the line, go ahead, okay, but make sure you get a very clean kind of line there. All right, our inside here is quite distant, okay? How to show distance? Draw the very soft line over here. Right, soft line over here. This is how actually you can actually develop those kind of way of controlling your kind of drawing strokes there. So in front, I think a bit more thickness. Take a little bit of those lines over here. All right. This overline there, okay, are going to be a bit more soft line there, right? See? To show the distance there. To show the depth of feel. Right? Control Z all the time when you move your hands in the wrong directions for the strokes. Okay, you see that? Then I'm going to press a little bit more from here. Just to show the depth of fields, so okay, the distance between the strokes, okay, between the the, the objects, okay, of the shapes here. Can you see it? Right, the difference between these areas and these areas there, you can see the depth there, right? So those are basically we need to do that. Okay, front objects are going to be thick a little bit. Okay, thick a little bit there. So this is maybe a dashboard now. Okay. Some of the shapes of the window, right? Back window. Yeah. Just to show a little bit kind of suggestions line. So this areas, okay, if you take a look closely, then we can move there, right? Okay? Remember guys, whatever that we do, don't assume that you actually trace them. Basically, we draw on top of that. Okay? We draw on top of it. Right? So practice your line works. And make sure when you install your driver, hopefully there is no problem issues on that. But 
the line of highlights over there and then I'm going to work with those shapes right the stroke shape for those uh, headlight there again okay, press a little bit to show a bit kind of what we call that the distance there but very small kind of line that I actually try to apply from here. See the shadows line there, right? That I draw. So you have to take a look also some reference samples that how people actually work with this kind of drawing too. Don't just rely on my demonstrations only, just to seek for answers there. Right? So go into Instagram, okay, you find some of the pictures that people actually have done before using the same methods maybe or different kind of method okay the rusty kind of looks texture there right I draw only a suggestion kind of shape there I'm not going to draw the whole thing to make it a bit more like believable of the rusty kind of shape there right texture there you see the drawing line there it looks smooth right look professional when you see the line drawing there right but this is the thing that you need to practice here no shadings even though these areas are okay, even if we don't do the shadings yet, right? We draw the suggestions on the on the rusty kind of looks there, right? Here. Yeah. Yes, and so on there. Learn from what you see. You guys have eyes, you just can learn from what you see. And think when you draw them. Okay? Always think when you draw them. This is the chance for you to develop these kind of skills, all right, by using the tools that you have here right now. Okay? Always zoom in, control, space bar to move. Right. Because next week, I'm going to touch a little bit on the shadows, the right shade sheets. So this is some crap kind of lines. So that made the crack line and get to be a little bit more thinner there, right? There. All right, the shadows around here, I'm going to use this kind of rendering techniques there, okay? On the actions line by using a vertical kind of strokes there. So apply different kind of movements, strokes, directions when you draw things. See this area there, right? I press a little bit more to show the distance there and render a bit like that yeah this is crack kind of areas there yeah. all right of course you can actually draw some suggestions line over here yeah. one I actually can render a bit more right just to show with this is the uh, different kind of areas that have a uh, different kind of uh, what we call that dimensions okay different kind of dimensions of those object there okay you see that right need a lot of patience develop the source of line and don't assume that you can complete this kind of drawings all right the whole drawings exercise in one day then and with this drawing you're going to take a few maybe one hours for your time to complete them all right and to make sure that you get the right kind of strokes that works because without the proper kind of coordination right, between your eyes, mind to control, and hands to draw. You won't be able to get it right. Trust me. You won't be able to get it right. So don't rely on one or two days that you can complete or, or, or give yourself time. In the short time to improve your drawing skills, they're not going to be happening there. So you need to draw frequently. 
practice every day that okay? I can't actually force you guys, right, to plan your kind of way of developing yourself. You the one who actually have the responsibility of yourself. You ask yourself who you want to be, where you want to go from here, and why basically you choose to become a multi year design yourself. Okay? So think about it back again and check back again your kind of ambitions that are okay? develop your skills. All right? Because when it comes to draw, basically our character design later on there, right? If you don't actually develop this kind of way of working there, you won't be able to draw this. Right? You won't be able to draw the notes. See how actually they control this pressures and strokes to draw the manga kind of faces to acting using the basic structures there, controlling the line there, okay? the precious line there, sketch line there. All these kind of skills were came from the fundamental exercise that we did. Right, right here. Fundamental is not basic there. This is not a basic drawing there. This is a fundamental drawing that teach people how to develop their way of drawing using the control pressures line and strokes there. that's why when you draw think about it don't just simply draw things okay so i, I already actually state a lot in my previous videos that you guys can check back again okay, the reason the methods the motivations there to work please check this video watch your video and to see how actually you can manage work. but watching the video without doing some a lot of exercise doesn't affect basically your development and any improvements so you need to practice from now on there so we got around 16 drawing there to complete okay 16 drawing to complete and if you think some people right say that sir can i actually draw more from here go ahead go ahead Remember guys, okay, week six, we are going to do some our first assignments. So next week, basically, okay, we are going to work into the shadings at the at our shadings. We get some form, right, and textures a bit there, right? Uh, to study about light and shadows, all right? Week five, we're going to do some more like a structured drawing, all right? Structure mean right thing. When you have developed your understanding to control your line well, right? For example, that I did in our lecture class there, right? One of the drawings here, right? Structures line here. Okay? Can I show you guys that just now uh, previously? If you can get the understanding how to control the pressure line like this, and develop more on your exercise to draw this kind of techniques there, right? Hopefully, when it comes to draw your own characters later on, you won't be able to have a very hard time that you Okay? This is basically what I found for the multimedia student. Any questions so far? No. Any question? No? All right. So remember guys, okay, if you have the right kind of package of drawing skills, one of the best thing is because you can actually push more on your exercise from here. Right? But these techniques is very good also for those who have zero knowledge there. You want to start fresh there, okay? So if you want to start fresh, you have to know how to control your pressures using your drawing pen and your drawing skills there, right? Okay? You know how, you need to know how to work with it. Okay. Mm, what else that we can do here? So if you check a look closely. Right, 
in order to develop your skills of drawing or checking of illustration, even though you're using those tablets, right? You must be able to, to draw circles like this one, right? See? Okay? When you draw those, what we call that perspective there, right? For example, here there, okay? square line perspective. If you want to draw cone or triangles, this is how we draw. This is how actually I move my hands. And this is also how you try to move your hands. You have to learn to move your hands. Right? Okay? Drawing circles there for every structure. Right. Uh, if you want to draw, we call that some buildings maybe, right? Okay? Using different kind of perspective there, right? This kind of controlling that you need to have. Even though when you apply using your tablet, right? The same techniques, the same practice point, but we can actually apply with different kind of brushes, like for tablet, right? For tablet, there. See? Okay. To draw some shadows again, light came from here. So the shadows had to fall off over here. See how I have, how actually I control the the the, the, the strokes there, right here. The action strokes over here, right? The shadows came over here. Fall off over there. But can you see there, right here, how actually I'm sketch the line and control the brushes line? This is the skill that you need to develop as a design student. Okay. So did I make this myself clear there, right? Okay. Yes. All right. For those who have a hard time there, right? If you find yourself a hard time that I get to develop the skills here. Please let me know there, right? Okay. Because it will take time, there, okay. But the only thing that I can actually suggest is to practice a lot. Right? To practice a lot. Right? To practice more. Because I used to practice a lot with my drawings. I don't know whether I have right here, but I practice a lot. Anyone say that, okay, maximum drawing basically we are going to do for each week from now on, maximum are going to be 20. But this week, only 16 drawings. Ah, uh, see here, one thing working, huh? right? For face there, All right? Okay, so hmm. right, it's only 20 drawings there, guys. Okay, I do more from there. Right, I've done a lot there, right here because I want my students to be good, right? Here, from me, I hope you guys can do better than mine. There, right? Those are the my kind of objective here. Maybe not dismiss this, but when you graduate, right? you're talking about the the long kind of durations that you have, the time that you have to develop your skills to. This is only the first semester that well, we give you guys a very professional kind of methods of working there. Right? Okay, but I improvise a little bit according to the to the scenario that we have. Okay, but basically the same. If we check back again on the YouTube channel, okay, okay some kind of what all that some people actually done a lot of drawing because all this kind of exercise that you actually been done there, okay, they will give you guys a lot of benefit in the futures in terms of develop your creativity there. Okay, I want to share you guys not basically my personal thing, uh, but but the process I've done or maybe some of the things that I've done before when I was a student there, right? 
I just want to share with you guys okay, because I didn't share with all the students there, okay, because I want to buy some time a bit. Uh, let me check here. It's not there anymore. I think I share right here, there, okay. Let me check. Here. Hopefully, we can get that, okay, as quick as we can here. Just to buy some time a little bit. So I want to share with you guys <coughs> because we basically I draw every day there. Okay? I draw every day class. I want to show you guys my student kind of work there that I used to draw when I was like your age there. And I was like your age. Yeah, I mean, This one, this one is my student works there, right? Previous students works there. This is one of my, basically my students works there, right? when I was student there. Ah, this one there, right? Okay, if you take a look at this drawing here. This is one of my drawings when I was... Uh, 17, 18 years old, I think, right? 18 years old, before I came to uh, for the study. In, in my university, right? Okay, this is one of my drawing that I did earlier, around 1993 or 94. I remember that, right? Okay? I'm using ball pen, right? Also, right? Okay, but at this time, basically, I just simply want to draw anything based on my imaginations because I'm taking a, a short certificate, six month IT kind of process, right? Okay? But I didn't actually have what we call that. Uh, my my lectures basically, right? They told me that they I have those. I can draw basically. Why don't you apply for art and design? And right? okay. So I'm waiting for my second SPM, and then I luckily I get past okay most of the subject, and I, and I get a right amount of grades. And then I start to apply that. Okay, this is also my old drawings. Is my old drawings there? Right? All this naive kind of line that I think based on imaginations that I think or my pencil drawings that based on my imagination there, right? Okay. This is around my phone file. Okay, this is this is the one I actually did uh, when I was like your age, uh, your time there, when I first attempt uh, to to create uh, to have my pre diploma already, post diploma, pre diploma on the uh, what we call that uh, drawing subjects I did for my drawing subject for the course there. So I draw something from my imaginations. If you take a look at the way that I draw from here, from here, it's very different there, right? Because this is when actually I didn't know how to draw in the right way. I'm using a lot of erasers. Uh, this one I'm using pen based on imaginations there, right? Okay? But I, I didn't know basically what the hell I'm doing there, right? Okay? But this is something that I've learned formally there. I start to learn observation drawing exercise that, 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 that I give you guys today and previously there, right? I start to draw every day and try to combine some of the mix because I love the understanding of the fantasy kind of drawings at the time there, right? So I've been amazed and also been fascinated with uh, one of the artists we call uh, Roger Dean and also they, uh, uh, Rodney Matthews there, right? Okay? Rodney Matthews there. So I tried to combine some of the subject matters like uh, aluminum can and also trees. This tree basically I I draw from the existing tree that I get from the lake there, okay? the lake of Shah Alam there, okay? So I draw a bit more kind of this kind of drawings, a bit more like tree studies about the trees. And basically, the tree basically have a uh, wearing a short skirt, the jeans. There. This is also some of the previous drawing that before I came to learn formal study, right? In our first semester, okay. This is basically what I did beyond my assignments. There, okay? Every night, almost every night, I I 
I spare at least one or two hours or three hours, okay? I'm going to draw anything from comic books there, right? I get some of the reference from the comics, I draw back again, and, and try to combine and draw using line. Okay? I'm using pencil first, and then I'm drawing using ink and pen there, okay? Just to practice my understanding of learning to draw the figures, the shadings and shades, shadows, line, strokes there, right? So uh, this is uh, this is one of the things I draw also. Uh, 1995 when I was in the first semester, there, right? okay, I just draw something from my imagination. There, right? okay? So even though the line is not that nice, there, okay, I just simply draw straight line, whatever you write about. This is a practice line. This is a practice kind of progress kind of drawing. Right? right? This is from the Judge Dad, right? Okay? You see comics then. I learned to draw. You see the, the strokes here? The drawing stroke is not that good, right? It's very stiff, very dirty kind of line there, right? Okay? But this is one of my practice ground there. This is what I did to practice my drawing there, okay? This is I'm using post colors there, okay? But I never finish the drawing because I'm too lazy to finish there, right? I'm too lazy to finish there. This is quite detailed. There. But I've done a few kind of exercises in the post colors because I've learned from my friends, okay? My colleague at the time there, okay? About this way of techniques of using the poster colors, right from black to light, there are okay, dark to light kind of techniques there. So this is basically my personal students' works. But this is also my my students' works. In the first semesters, I try to copy some comics, okay, way to paint using comics kind of technique, but manual there are okay, because we don't have any computers at the time. We draw some of the comic characters there using poster colors to work there, ink and paint, right? Just to study the the comics kind of drawings there, right? Okay. Using watercolors a little bit combined together there, right? Okay. So this is basically my my leisure time that I have, right? Okay? Every night, almost every night I, after I did my assignments, right? Because I don't actually when I was like you guys, I didn't spend much time socializing there. Okay? The only time I socializing, I just hanging around at the mama maybe or, or any kind of stalls, right? Have a tare or eat something and talk some, about something there, right? Okay? But I didn't actually do a lot of socializing like some of the people there, right? Okay? That go to the club or whatever it is, right? Because I didn't, because I, even though I'm Actually born and raised in KL, right? Kuala Lumpur, right? Kind of Kuala Lumpur kind of boy there, right? But I didn't actually interest on those kind of things there right? because I know what I want to basically, right? At the times I want to be good at what I do there, right? So I have to practice more because there's a lot of challenge that I have to face, I know, in the future there. So a lot of I have to compete also with a lot of people there. Right? There's a number of people at the time there, right? Because we cannot choose, we can choose our department. I want to be in the graphic design, but at that time there is no multimedia there. Only graphic design, fun arts, and, and other kind of discipline or faculty that we have in one school. Yeah. There, right? But I want to be into only two schools that are actually interested in fine arts or graphic design. There. Why? Because I want to do comics, maybe I want to use any animations, those are the things that I want to do there. Right? So, that's basically my students kind of work. One of my students kind of works there. Uh, yes, okay. Some most of it basically now basically this most of the most of the drawings that I actually demonstrate, okay, for the students for dry media subjects. Right? For dry media subjects here. So using charcoal, using pencils here. This is more time lapse, right? Okay, doing some character design. I'm doing some character design there. Okay. Mm, this is some of my demonstration that I did for the students in dry media subjects. All right. Okay. Mm, okay. This is one of the. Drawing using those uh, brown charcoals. Right? This is a bit like a 
draw the structures one their face that works right the important, important why actually i want you guys to control the pressure as well this is basically the the the, the main purpose there okay the main purpose of working with your hands in the right way because if you don't actually write knowing how to apply the right kind of strokes you won't be able to draw it as a professional thing you want to train professional thing you don't want to train an amateur there right okay? so i treat you guys like a professional kind of entrepreneurs uh, what we call that uh, professional kind of candidates there, right okay so you've been trained to become professionals not to become uh, what we call that immediate corner okay does that mean we need to practice them from now on all right we need to practice them from now on guys. this is one of the drawing sample that i did for one of the classes so far. this is basic drawings okay recently we have in the time you see i did this drawing a few minutes there i think around 15 to i think like 15 minutes to 20 there right okay? at that time the students okay i just want to not to compete but i want to show the students the good thing about understanding about the basic structures because when you know the structures well and know where the light and shadow and control the pressure and learn how to control the volume of your tools well you can draw quite easy there right okay? using the reference that you want so those are the things that I've done right here, guys. Okay? Uh, learn to control in the right way. Right? It's really important there, right? Maybe you, you guys can check back again how actually I develop basically the understanding. Right? To work with this kind of drawings there okay? because i came into two different kind of discipline there and multiple kind of discipline right as it's more accurate already okay? so when i have a multiple kind of discipline from various type of discipline like drawings illustrations design graphic design multimedia is a bit there okay? because i'm doing some sort of like 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 uh interface kind of design okay previously right in, or on my works but i didn't actually focus much there right and a little bit kind of publishing right okay publications kind of design you have a lot of abilities there you have a lot of advantages to talk about things there right and now i'm doing some consultations some provisions on the world there okay this is some of the sketches that i did okay manually there okay Using color pencil, charcoal, so a bit kind of watercolors that works. It's from practice, it's from imaginations that works there. All right. So if you have a good kind of senses of using the tools, some of the experiment on those paintings using those based on the best quad kind of paintings there. All right. Okay, one of the artists there, lead artist. So using watercolors. Draw freely using those three form of watercolor techniques. They will give you guys a lot of advantages to explore a little bit more on your way of working. That's why I really, really push my students you know, to work with the line drawing first. <coughs> Before you're going to work with any kind of styles in the future. Okay? This is one of the sketches that I did using <coughs> ball pen, drawing pen. This is basically my small sketches that I did for when I was a meeting at the time. This is around, I don't know, around 2005, right until you know, 2009, maybe there, right? Because I always, always just practice myself all the time there. So in different kind of methods of working there. Okay? This is what one of my friends. He's actually one of the freelance curators, my old friend, I think. 
he is the one who actually exposed to me a lot back in the days into art, comic, scenes, and design. Because in my early days, I take twice most of the main exam that I take. Take SPM twice, my previous SRP that, we, that you guys have a PT3, I have an SRP2, I have a so there. So when, I, when he was at school, until I graduated and he also graduated earlier there, okay? Uh, he's actually doing well at the time at the uh, Lincoln Wings there, okay? Academy. And then he persuaded himself to do to go to Sarawak Unimas there to learn about fine arts there, okay? So he's also one of my friends who actually have exposed me a lot with the scenes there, with all the good reference of artists there that, that made me want to explore more on my journey to develop out my Okay. This is one of my previous students, like from these drawings that they draw, they improve a lot already on the shading of these shapes, right? So this, this is one of, because this is basically my kind of, we call that, uh, recognition directly for my students' works. All right. So it's not that easy that I get to be good at what you do. So you have to work hard a little bit, develop the right kind of skills that you works, all right? If you want to improve yourself. Okay, guys? So remember that, okay? Uh, this is also one of my earliest kind of drawings here. Uh, this is my study drawing set. This is when I was at four semesters of uh, Third semester. So that means in third semester we study figure drawings. So we study from live figure drawings. So this is one of my earliest kind of studies on my drawings. Okay. All right. So hopefully you guys gain some important kind of important kind of understanding that why basically we need to we need to focus more on the drawing skills there right okay drawing skills there this is one of our studios there right? Is on it from our studio there in my time you see there. So I've done a few kind of demonstration for the students there. I get to work. Right? Okay. So any questions so far? All right. Basically it's quite interesting if we can actually interact with face to face. All right develop a bit more kind of understanding right to work with but uh, of course right digitals basically is not is not much different here. the handling the tools the same the same you just need to be patient to do that right eh? but because you have okay if you use adopt cc 2018 19 right if i'm not mistaken because we're using that kind of uh version basically in our lab right eh? I'm using basically the same brush that you use, like Carl Ultimate brushes, right? Uh, pencil brushes, Carl Ultimate pencil brushes, Carl Ultimate charcoal, Carl Ultimate uh, hot brushes there. All those Carl Ultimate set brushes is very good for you to explore your drum strokes. But if, if you use, if you have the right kind of brushes or you set the tablet drive as well, you can get this right kind of pressure point when you draw that right. Any brushes can be used, except some of the texture brushes, lah, because texture brushes is basically suitable for doing some shading and shades there. All right? Uh, try to explore a bit more from there and try to be more enjoy to work with your exercise, okay? Because they are going, your, your journeys is very 
long the right here. It's very far. So be patient with it. Right? As long as your parents can afford to pay your studies there, you should feel blessed about it. Right? Because this is time for you to push yourself and your and your you and your moment that you have to develop and enjoy the process. Hmm? Those are the things that are Okay, play games, watch watch movies, whatever it is, is good to develop our uh, interests on our subjects. Right? Because multimedia is basically based on that. But if you saw some mobile legend game for whatever games they write, they came from those designs. Right? But if Your parents are happy. If your parents would ask you guys, hey, multimedia is all about what? Uh, other than what I'm saying just now uh, before this, right? Okay? All about this one, uh. yeah. right? To create this kind of last question, to create the interactive of the games there. You not become a programmer then, you become a designer of the game. The designers not mean not the game design is basically the people actually design the visuals there, okay? The visuals on the games there. Mobile legends will be nothing without designers there, without the illustrators, without graphic designers, without animators. All those Three main kind of work uh, directions or workflows based on multimedia. Okay, we'll do some multimedia. So, without illustrators, without character designers, without animators, there, mobile agents, nothing. Else. It's only a, a navigation strategy game. Somewhere. So without the visuals, the visions that illustrators have, the art directors have that. Mobile Legends is nothing there. PUBG is nothing there. Right? What else the game that you say already? Or if you love animations, without those kind of illustrators job, all the things that you like interest is nothing there. Look at your phones there, right? Right. There's a lot of logos, right? Icons there, right? The design itself of the phones came from design students. Technology based different things. Right? People who work technologies combined with designers to work with those that are interested in on those so look and feel there. Right? If the phone look like, uh, for example, like a drinking bottle that you want to buy, right? maybe 10, 20 years ago, mobile phone came home like this. Like, uh, Drinking bottles, right? right? Now this very sleek, very clean, right? Okay? All this kind of features that we have came from designers' ideas, right? right. Same goes to cast designer, same goes to things, right? okay? So go check those videos that I actually have record for you guys, okay? Just to see some of different way of subject matter that I use by using the same methods of working. Right, the drawing line and strokes. See how actually you can go from there. All right. So thank you very much, guys. All right. Any questions so far? Anything? Anyone else? Any questions before we're going to wrap up for today? No. All right. So okay, I'm going to stop recording.